Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve one more question on the computer on the series of computer architecture and organization. So let's read the question now. Consider a memory system that uses a 30 32 bit address, okay, uh, at byte level, plus a cache that uses a 64 byte line size, okay. So assume a direct mapped cache with a tag field in addresses of 20 bits. show address format in determine following parameters so what we have to find we have to find number of addressable units number of blocks in main memory and number of lines in cache and the size of the tag these four things we have to find in a and in b we have to consider a computer with following characteristics total of 1 mb of main memory word size of 1 byte block size of 16 bytes and cache size of 64 kilobytes given any two main memory address with different tags that we have to same cache slot for a direct mapped cache so it's a very long question but let us solve the question in by dividing it parts so first of all what we have to do we have to write what are the given terms okay first given given okay so first of all what it is given here 32 bit address so what it is it is a 32 bit address memory okay 32 bit address memory is byte addressable right so first of all we have written that now another one what is given to address byte level at byte level okay memory is byte addressable okay plus a cache that uses a 64 byte line size also cache line size cache line size is also given that is how much 64 bytes okay done now again what it is given in this one assume a direct map cache with a tag field in address of 20 bits right so what is the tag field given is equal to 20 bits and one more thing is it's a direct mapped cache all right direct mapped cache which type of cache it is direct map cache okay now first what we have to do we have to the uh, break the address format like for a direct mapped cache the address is divided into three fields okay for a direct mapped cache the address is divided into three fields what are they tag index and offset okay for a direct mapped cache the address is divided into three fields tag index and offset so our tag is already given that is 20 bits we have to find index and offset right for finding offset we already know line size given line size is is equal to 64 bits right yeah so so we can write it as 2 power n right so given the line size is 64 bits so we can write it as 2 power 6 okay we can write uh, 64 as 2 power 6 so offset is, is nothing but offset is nothing but the exponent offset equal 6 bits it's to the address within the block okay now index offset we got 6 now what is the index we have to find the index what is the given address address is 32 bits right given address is address is 32 bits right and what is the given tag tag is 20 bits and the offset is 6 bits okay so index is nothing but index add index is equal to address minus tag minus offset so it becomes 6 bits So again, what we got? We got index is also six. So tag is twenty bits, index six bits, and offset is six bits, right? Okay. Now we have to answer the sub parts. What are those? We have to find. See here. First, we have to find number of addressable units. Okay. What we have to find? Number of first one in A. First one number of addressable units. 
so number of addressable units since what is the address 32 bit address right it is so 2 power see 32 bit address is nothing but 2 power n number of addressable units is formula is 2 power n where n is the bit address what it is address so it is nothing but 2 power 32 that is 4 GB okay yeah so second one what is the second one number of blocks in main memory what is the second one number of blocks in main memory <coughs> number of blocks in main memory okay number of blocks in main memory so what is the formula for uh, to finding the number of blocks in main memory so each blocks each 64 bytes right so each blocks is line size class size is 64 bytes right so each block size is 64 bytes so nothing but number of addressable units by the blocks number of blocks total I mean line of each block okay that is nothing but 2 power 32 by 64 that is nothing but 2 power 26 that is equal to some something uh, like 67 108 and 864 okay there is no need to write if you write 2 power 26 it is enough blocks okay now third one what is the third one we have to find number of lines in cache so each line size we got okay so what we have to do we have to find the number of lines in each cache okay number of lines in cache number of lines in cache it depends on nothing but what is the size of the index 6 right so 2 power 6 that equals 64 cache lines and what is the last one we have to find the size of the tag size of the tag is already given right tag field <coughs> is nothing but size of the tag that is 20 bits okay done now first part of the question done yeah now what is the second part read the question part, second part now we have to consider a computer with following characteristics okay so first one is total of 1 MB of main, main memory, word size of 1 byte, block size of 16 bytes and cache size of 64 KB. So give any two main memory addresses with different tags that map to same cache slot for a different for, for a direct mapped cache. Okay. So let us break down this into parts. So here what are the given things in the second one B part what are the given things. So main memory is total of 1 MB of main memory okay main memory is is equal to 1 MB right 1 MB is nothing but 2 power 20 bytes and uh, main memory is done what size of 1 byte what size 1 byte okay done this is also done then block size of 16 bytes block size is equal to 16 bytes just divide it divide the question into parts and the cache size is 64 kilobytes cache size is 64 kb that is nothing but 2 power 16 bytes and again okay now what we have to do give any two main memory addresses with different tags that map to the same cache slot for a direct mapped cache again it is a direct mapped cache so first we have to find how many number of lines are there in the cache okay number of lines in cache okay so what is the formula for number of lines in cache as we have already done seen here we can direct write 2 power 6 as it is an index okay so for this number of lines in cache <coughs> we have as there is no index directly right so simply we can find cache size by cache size by 2 power 16 right by I mean block size okay 16 we can write as 2 power 4 that is nothing but 2 power 12 that is 4096 lines okay done so we have found uh, number of lines in cache now index bits okay how to find the index bits see already we know 2 power <coughs> n is equal to 4096 right so we we can find the index bits by log of 4096 is nothing but uh, 2 power n right 
so that is 12 bits so this one this is nothing but 12 okay so now what is meant by offset now what is the offset here offset is equal to 4 bits how for a 168 block for 16 block okay and uh, what is the index index we got 12 bits and what is the remaining tag is equal to total 20 minus so main memory is 2 power 20 right this one 20 minus 12 minus 4 that is equal to 4 bits we have already done this right in previous part as well to find index so similarly for tag also total this thing main memory minus 12 minus 4 index minus offset okay similarly we can find this for this one as well okay now what we have to do now what we have to do question 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 give any two memory addresses we have to give two main memory addresses with different tags that map to same cost same cache slot for a direct mapped cache okay we have to choose now so now we have to pick two addresses with same index but different tag so we have to choose now let's choose so what is the address one let's choose like um, address one so i'm taking 0x 0 0 0 0 0 0 so yeah no binary where all are zeros okay now i'm taking the address to 0x 1 0 0 0 0 it is also binary but differs only in higher bits so now you have a doubt why you have written this uh, like how it satisfy our given question right so we can simply write it so you, uh, you will be having a doubt like why we have chosen why what is this matlab it is right or not right so it is nothing but see I am elaborating this what I have taken okay so address 1 okay what is the one 0x like we can write it as simply see 1 2 3 4 zeros okay 1 2 3 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 we have like we have taken the address like this here tag is zeros and these are the index okay tag index and it is offset okay so here it is tag it is index it is offset so we, if we if i take address to 0x1 okay so how can we write this 0001 0000 0000 and 0000 0000 zero, zero, zero. okay so here it is tag it is index it is offset so if you see both of this right both of the same index bits right same index bit so the map same cache line so if we having same index means it it indica it indicates same cache line but the tags are different right these two tags are different right okay so it that means so the different so the represent different blocks so what we have taken these are the question right what's the question given here right with different see different tags that map to same cache lot so index should be same but the tag should be different that's the thing we need so these are the two addresses with different one we can write and you can take one another thing as well which having same index you can change this you can change this and uh, same same index and different tags take anything you want okay just at last you will write the you have to write the address that's all okay so thank you guys for watching my video if you have any doubts uh, you can comment me in the comment section thank you